What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about how to preload Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Activision has already given, given us some specific times for PS4 and PS5. Not really a lot of specific times yet for Xbox and PC, but we do have kind of a general idea of what they're wanting to do. Activision went ahead and talked about when you can download it exactly on PS4. Before I get into all the details, I'm going to link all this information down in the description. You may want to come back and check this definitely if you play on uh, Xbox or PC. Hopefully in the next day or so we'll get some specific dates and times for you guys as well. But kind of starting off with PS4, uh, preload for the PlayStation 4 for Black Ops Cold War will begin on Thursday, November the 5th or Friday, November the 6th depending on the region you live in. There is no specific time tied to this yet, but the PlayStation Store does have the preload beginning on November the 6th at 12 a.m. Eastern Time for North America. It says similar, uh, similar to the Modern Warfare download for PS4, there will be different packs to download for each of the modes in the game. The Dead, Ar the, the Dead Ops Arcade Pack, which is around 5 gigs, the Campaign Pack 1 and Campaign Pack 2, which are 13 gigs and 17 gigs, Campaign Pack 3, which is around 11 gigs, uh, Zombies Base Install, which is around 4 gigs, and the Multiplayer Base Install, which is around 10 gigabytes. That is a total right now of 62 gigs. There's a lot of speculation that the game will be a total of 100 gigs when all is said and done. I'm not sure exactly if that is going to be, ex you know, right on, I guess, point. I'm not sure if it's going to be quite that big, but they are expecting more content packs for the game prior to launch. So that list may grow of the different content packs you have to download, of course, on PS4. Now, when it comes to PS5, it says customers who are getting a PS5 on launch day, you will be able to immediately preload Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War when you get your console. Uh, for those getting their console on November the 12th, be sure to go to the PlayStation Store and start the download immediately ahead of the November the 13th launch. And everyone else, all the other regions that are getting their PS5 on November the 5th, uh, 19th, excuse me, you'll be able to download as soon as you get your, con uh, your console. Now when it comes to Xbox, Activision has not confirmed a time for the preload, but considering the Xbox is going to come out a few days earlier than the PS5. Most are speculating that you will be able to download the game on Xbox on the 4th or 5th of November. Uh, right now on the Microsoft Store, Black Ops Cold War is listed as a 100 gigabyte game. Of course, like I said, that could change. I'm not expecting it to be quite 100 gigs. I would be shocked if it was, but it could be. If you look at Modern Warfare, it's going to be a pretty large file. Uh, but Xbox Series X and Series S owners will be able to preload Black Ops Cold War when your console arrives on Tuesday, November the 10th. And when it comes to PC, uh, it will be exclusively available on Blizzard, uh, of course, Battle.net. Activision has not officially announced a preload time yet for PC, but based on last year's preload, most people are speculating that you will be able to preload the game three to four days before launch on November the 13th, and that would be around, around the 9th or 10th of November. As of right now, Activision has talked about or has confirmed that Black Ops Cold War is expected to be a 175 gig download on PC. That is for the entire game, campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. The multiplayer mode alone will be around a 50 gigabyte download. Like I said, guys, I'm going to link all this information down in the description. You can come back to this uh, page and check it out. And maybe some of the times and things will update. Of course, all this info did come from Activision, so hopefully they will update some of this information here on this page. But I am kind of curious uh, to what you guys think um, about the file size. Um, are you excited to hear that there are going to be multiple packs to download again? That does kind of give me the hope that you won't have to have everything downloaded if you don't want to. If you already go ahead and beat the campaign, you can go ahead and take that off you know, your hard drive. And that way you won't have to have anything but multiplayer and zombies. I think that is a good thing that are doing that again. And hopefully that is going to be the case. Anyway, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course, my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.